Digital Biotechnica. I'm Caroline Green. So today I'll be talking about a competitive examination. Yes, as we are life science students, we might come across a lot of competitive examinations like CSAR, NET, ICMR, TIFR, and many, many examinations, whether it's an entrance examinations or any sort of things. So whenever we write any examination, we used to have some common mistakes that will be done in most of the examination. So today in this video, I'll be talking about 10 common mistakes made by all the life science students in any of the competitive examination. So I'm going to give you an outline of what this is all about and how can you improve on it also. So first, let's talk about what's the first common mistakes that everybody does. Everybody does during their examination, whatever examination you go through it. The first mistake that everybody does is not reading the question properly. If you're not going to read the question properly, you are going to end up with answering most of the questions wrong. So what are the things you have to consider whenever you are reading a gate paper or ICMR paper or CSIR paper or any competitive examination? Look for uh, thing, uh, words which are like correct, incorrect, not Except so these are some of the words that you have to check because the questions will be given which of the following are correct or which of the following statements are incorrect which of the following statements are correct except or which of the following is not correct. So whatever it is read every questions properly look on to the words which is most importantly asked by doing this many of them have ended up getting a negative marks also. So always Concentrate onto the question and read every questions properly. That's the most important mistake most of them does during the competitive examination. The second one is improper utilization of initial first 15 minutes of the examination. Yes. So when you're going in for the examination, what you should strategize yourself because almost all the competitive examinations are going to be two to three hours. So you need to know how to manage within two to three hours. So usually the first 15 hour or 15 minutes, you need to know how to strategically approach. So read five minutes, check over all the complete questions. And during that period, strategize yourself. What are the questions that you're going to answer it first? What are the questions that you seems it's correct for you, easy for you? So first 15 minutes are crucial. If you're going to be distracted in the first 15 minutes, there are probability you might end up not solving most of the questions. So improper utilization of initial 15 minutes of examination is going to ruin your exams. So always utilize the first 15 minutes. As soon as you get the question paper, what you have to do is concentrate on the question paper. Do not ever be distracted if a question paper is given in your hand or if you're attending an online examination. First 15 minutes are very, very crucial for any competitive examination. The third common mistakes that most of the life science students does is improper time management. As I already mentioned, almost two to three hours of uh, duration will be for most of the competitive examination. So what exactly happens is you might have studied all the units very thoroughly. Suppose if you're talking in case of CSAR, you might have studied almost uh, some 13 units very very good but what exactly happens is if you're not gonna know within the two to three hours how to answer a question even though you have studied all the units you would not be able to answer within the time slots so improper time management is another problem so how you can actually solve this problem is if you're gonna go in for a lot of test series or mock tests within a stipulated period of time, some two hours or three hours, so that it gives you a practice and makes you to strategically approach to a question instead of spending a lot of time on one question. Because when you uh, think about any competitive examination, if you can agree with me, I believe that initially first five questions, we used to take a lot of time to check and uh, analyze all the questions we'll answer. But at the end, we'll just rush up onto the question and we used to answer this question. This is mainly happening because of improper time management. Suppose if we talk in case of CSIR, how much time you're going to give for part A, how much time you're going to give for part B, how much time you're going to give for part C. So whatever competitive examination you're going in for, just strategize yourself and always concentrate on the time management. Like if it's a three hours a test, always try to finish it by two hours, 45 minutes and last uh, 15 to 10 minutes, just revise all the answers that you have done so far. So this is the common mistakes that most of the people does during this examination. The next one is Incorrect marking of the OMR sheet. Yes, this is most, most important mistake, I would say, because you know all the correct answer and you might know this is the correct answer, everything. But what people usually does is they won't mark in the OMR sheet. 
if you miss one question suppose if you are going to miss 12th question and if you are going to answer the 13th question if you have not marked the 12th questions you will be answering the answer in the 13th question then all your sheets will go wrong all the questions that you are going to do will go wrong one mistake in one omr sheet can literally take all the answers that you have marked in the omr sheet so always when you are marking onto a omr sheet or when it come to a computer based test look whether you are answering exactly onto the question that is asked whether you are answering it correctly because omr sheet is the one which is evaluated not the question paper that you are going to have many used to mark in the question paper but they will leave it in the omr sheet omr is evaluated so when you are answering a question always check you are you answering a seventh question answer only in this omr sheet seventh question so look on to this this is most most common mistake that most of them does and they have lost mark also so take this into consideration the fifth important common mistake that everybody does is eliminating options will help and save time because what exactly happens is there are two ways people used to answer question the one way is selecting the correct answer from four option or five options or anything if i'm talking about mcq then you have to select only one correct answer if it's going to be multiple select questions then you can select one or two also but most important thing is do not ever look for most of the correct answers what you can do is if you if you think like certain options are not correct for or applicable for this question eliminate those options and of course you will end up with two of the options or three of the options so eliminating options will definitely help and it's going to save time because you might have studied many thing but when you're going to write or answer a question paper you should know how to strategically approach to the question so always go for eliminating wrong answer and then picking the right answer from the among of these things and this is the mistake that most of them does and the next one is ignoring the exam guidelines this i would like to tell whenever a question paper is given i told you 15 minutes so always go through the exam guidelines which is given every time spend almost some 2 to 3 minutes for uh, exam guidelines because if you're going to ignore exam guidelines it can also screw your uh, competitive examination so never ignore the exam guidelines given in the question paper the next one is use using a guesswork in the examination yes this or that so sometimes we believe okay this is the correct answer and you you usually mark those answer but what exactly happens is we know most of the examination has negative marking if you're not 100% sure about it it's not always good enough to go in for a guesswork if you know some 70 to 80% at surety then you can go for a guesswork but if you don't have a clue about it then never ever go for a guesswork because negative marking is going to be a greater barrier in upcoming your success also so using guesswork in examination if you're not very sure about it it's not at all a good idea the next one whenever we see most of the questions like graphical based questions or picture based questions or a long passages question we will think okay let me skip it immediately but you know one thing whenever you see a long answer questions they are the simplest answers most of the cases you can see paragraphs will be like very large but what does it means like they would have given a definition or they would have explained an experiment to make you understand in a very easy way the answer can be easily derived from the question itself but what we believe according to our own human brain is we think okay this is the toughest question and we used to skip that so if you see a long paragraph question read it very faster and you will definitely come up with a easy one and graphical based questions are very very important because most of the time graphical based questions will give you an illustrations like they will give you what is the x axis y axis and what are the points that are involved everything will be given the only thing is analyzing the graph and then answering the question so graphical based question picture based questions never ever miss and long lengthy questions are sometimes always going to be easy also so look on to it if you find very difficult to answer those question then you can skip the question it's up to you to decide the next important mistake that everybody does is not revising the answer yes as i already mentioned first 15 minutes is very crucial and the last 10 to 15 minutes is very crucial because you might have marked all the answers correct but somewhere other what you will do is you will not revise the question suppose let me take it this way so there are some 15 questions let me take it as an example so you don't know question number 7 and question number 9 what you can do is just cross mark 7 and 9 in the question paper so whenever you have a time you go to that 7 and 9 question and you can start solving that 7 and 9 question because you find it very difficult to answer but if you don't have a time for 10 to 15 minutes at the last you would not be able to revise the 
answers whether you have marked it correctly or whether you were able to answer seventh and ninth question so always do one thing always revise your answer even after writing it there suppose you find you are you have written or if you have marked omr in the omr sheet some of the answers wrongly you can approach the examiner asking for another omr sheet because if you're not going to revise the answers it would be very very difficult because all the efforts that you put will go in vain so always revise the answers after writing also and the next one insufficient sleep before the examination yes so what exactly happens is when you're not having a proper sleep so it really ruins you up because you will feel very exhausted very tired and you will feel like yes i'm not able to do it and you feel sleepy usually if you're not going to have a peaceful sleep we might be confused with a lot of things even if you know the answer you would not be able to answer it properly so this is very important so sufficient sleep before the examination is very important because i found a lot of students studying before the examination night only which will happen is the concentration in the examination go off you will feel very exhausted and tired and even if you know the correct answer you will think it is the correct answer but your hands will not go and mark the correct one so that is because of absence of mind lack of sleep so never do that so today we've been talking about the 10 common mistake that most of the life students does in any of the competitive examinations so always read the questions perfectly fine enough look for the terminologies that's given and utilize first 15 minutes and have a proper time management and always mark the omr sheet perfectly fine and go in for eliminating options and ignore, never ignore the examination guidelines don't go for any guesswork in the examination if you're not sure about it and don't think like it's a lengthy questions or graphical questions of any sort of pictorial questions sometimes those questions are going to be the easiest ones also and always revise the answer at the last 10 minutes or 5 minutes and always have a good sleep before the examination so this is all about the common mistakes that are done by life science students so what do you think when you're writing for the examination you have done the major mistake and that has caused a greater tragedy so put it in the comment section i'm going to meet you back again with another video